Electronic filters are networks or circuits, which alter the amplitude or phase characteristics of electrical signals. The amount of this alteration solely depends on the frequency of the signal. Filters can pass, stop, attenuate a signal at a band of frequencies, and, or shift its phase. The frequency range, where the ratio of the signal at the output of the filter to its input is above the specified cutoff point is defined as the pass band region. Similarly, the frequency band in which the signal attenuation is bigger than a specified value is defined as the stop band region. The frequency band for which the signal attenuation falls between the two bands is defined as the transition band. The attenuation curve of a filter normally has ripples and non-uniformities. These ripples are due to the fluctuations in the gain response in the pass band and the stop band regions of the filter. A sweep frequency response analyzer, such as Analog Arts SF880, can be used to evaluate the frequency response behavior of a filter. These instruments generate a Bode plot of the gain and the phase performance of the filter. The gain plot characterizes the amplitude ratio of the output to the input of the filter. And the phase plot graphs the output and the input phase difference. The frequency domain behavior of a filter is defined by its transfer function, that is the ratio of its output to its input. A frequency response analyzer display both amplitude and phase transfer functions for a specified range of frequencies. In the gain plot, the frequency region for which the gain is above a specified cutoff value defines the bandwidth of a filter. The cutoff value is normally the minus 3 dB gain unless otherwise mentioned. The cutoff frequencies are then defined as the frequencies where the gain is about 71% or minus 3 dB. Filters rely on the impedance of resistors, capacitors and inductors for their functionality. The impedance of a pure resistor is its resistance value, regardless of the frequency. However the impedance of an ideal capacitor falls, and that of the end inductor rises as the signal frequency rises. Filters are designed based on this simple concept. Passive filters differ from active filters in that they do not use an active component such as an op-amp. The four basic passive filters are low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, and band stop or notch. There are various ways to design a low pass filter. A basic design is that of a simple RC. The signal is in series with a resistor to a capacitor connected to ground. The signal across the capacitor is the filtered signal. SF880 displays the gain and the phase response in yellow and blue for a 1K resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor. The impedance of the capacitor is insignificant to that of the resistor in the pass band region. It increases during the transition region as the frequency increases, and at higher frequencies the capacitor behaves more like a short circuit. An online filter design tool shows similar Bode diagrams. The variations between the plots are due to the fact that the components are not ideal. An oscilloscope can confirm the behavior of this low-pass filter for a particular frequency within a certain degree. In this setup, channel 1 in yellow is connected to the filter's input and channel 2 in blue to its output. Note that as the frequency of the input is increased, the output amplitude is reduced and its phase is shifted. However, it is impractical to verify the overall performance of the filter by this method. In a simple high-pass RC filter, the signal is in series with a capacitor, to a resistor connected to ground. The frequency response analyzer displays the response for an RC filter with a 1 microfarad capacitor and a 1K resistor. Signals with a frequency higher than the cutoff frequency of about 160 Hz pass through the filter reasonably well. The attenuation increases as the frequency decreases. No DC signal would pass through an ideal high-pass filter. In a band-pass filter, the pass region falls between two finite and non-DC frequencies. A low-pass filter can be added in series with a high-pass filter, to form a simple band-pass filter. This filter passes signals with a range of frequencies which fall between the pass bands of both filters. 
the frequency response analyzer displays the response of a bandpass filter made by adding the two previous low pass and high pass filters in series. The low pass removes the higher and the high pass eliminates the lower frequencies. Only the mid range frequencies pass through the filter. In a band stop filter, the stop region falls between two finite and non DC frequencies. A low pass filter can be combined in parallel with a high pass filter to form a simple band stop also referred to as a notch filter. This parallel combination blocks or attenuates a band of frequencies, within the two cut-off frequencies of the low and high pass filters. SF880 displays the response of a band stop filter, made by a parallel combination of a low pass and a high pass filter. An online filter calculator can be used to optimize the filter for a desired performance. In many situations, Complex filter designs are used to obtain a more ideal transform function. Fortunately, today designers have access to many filter tools to design for the required performance. This 7 order C input low pass Kaur design, which yields a steep transitional region and a large attenuation, was designed by such a tool. Developing an understanding for filters, and how they work makes choosing the right filter for the application straightforward.